Hi Libra, welcome to your January 2021 uh, tarot reading from Sugar Free here in the south of England. I'm using the ancient Italian tarot and this will be a major arcana reading. So let's see what we can see for you Libra. Okay, let's go. Oh, <laughs> the devil. The devil. Radio. Runs deep then, does it, Libra? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, the devil. Those, those, those restrictions, constrictions, chains that we actually quite like having <laughs> because they're familiar. Okay, let's move on. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it's turned up in the reverse, but it might not make any difference. I don't think it does, really. I mean, who's to say what way up a wheel should be? Right, let's get you another one. Okay. How lovely. You know, I was thinking what was coming to my mind about the Wheel of Fortune there. And I was thinking about how we can see in this uh, in this deck the, uh, the lovely perfume from the incense burner there being kind of drawn up around the wheel with the movement of the wheel and the, the movement of the air around the wheel. And this, this creature here trying to get up, trying to get up, trying to get up and all it's doing is pulling the wheel towards it but that also pulls this beautiful fragrance over so it's, that's the mixed fortunes of it um, we definitely can't say what way up a wheel is when it's the right way up okay, there's no right way, no wrong way up for a wheel, clearly however, it does only move in one direction Okay, it's only turning one way. Um, and it's turning this way. <laughs> now, no matter how kind of bogged down and tied down we might feel. And as I say, that you know, with the devil, there's, there's a, a really real subtlety about the... Um, the nature of and how we experience these kind of long-held, usually it's about long-held beliefs, long-held self-limiting beliefs. I mean, when we see the devil in uh, the Rider Waite uh, deck, there are the two figures, the man and the woman, just kind of chained to it, but they really don't look that bothered about it. They're chained, but they're not trying to get away. Um, and here there's a kind of, there's a bit of a sort of delight in this, going on here they're holding on to him these creatures here and there's a willingness in this in many respects the devil card for me is about addiction and it's about how a desire for a, 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 a substance usually when it concerns addiction uh, the desire for it has, by its very nature, by the nature of how that um, that substance interacts with us, has become sort of perverted or warped into, into a requirement. <laughs> We've moved from a want to a need, and it's very difficult to let go of that. I mean, I know, you know, I'm addicted to uh, nicotine, and I have my little, like, my little vape machine here but I still like the odd cigarette and I know it's bad for me and I always ask myself were I not addicted would I enjoy this at all you know is it actual real enjoyment or is it simply a dependence that's what we're dealing with in the devil card now it doesn't matter as I say um how weighed down we are by this the fool here in the upright tells us that, that, that 
The road is always open, always, at all times. Um, there is only the new, there is only the future, there is only the next step, there is only the next breath. It doesn't matter what happens with this wheel. You know, it doesn't matter what way up it is, whether the, the whether the fate, whether the fortune is rising or the fortune is falling. The only true thing about it is it is changing. That's what I'm getting from this. It doesn't matter what you think you're tied down by. It's just a thought, Libra. It's just a perception. And as such, it's utterly mutable and changeable because how we experience good fortune and bad fortune is uh, simply uh, in our own noddle it's in our own nut <laughs> in our own head in our own mind and in our own heart and all of that is mutable and changeable the road is always open for us Libra it just is I'm going to get another one for you. Hold on a sec. Right, one nearly jumped out there. I'm, I'm not going to push it. <laughs> I'm not going to push it. Wasn't anything bad. Okay. Right, we've got the Empress in the reverse. Okay, so take your time. Take your time. Empress in the reverse for me is about... Um, the fallow period, the winter, the point at which, the, or the point in the cycle, the part of the cycle where the seed is dormant. It's not time for something to sprout. I think it's just enough to know, Libra, that the road is always open. Um, but you know, you, you, <clears throat> uh, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a note of caution here because No, not a note of caution. Just because it's winter now and the seeds are dormant does not mean that spring is not coming because it is. It so is. It always does. It doesn't matter how dark and how cold and how kind of constricting things feel. It doesn't matter. Spring always comes. Change always comes. Ha ha, right, okay. Temperance in the reverse. Okay. Now the temperance card is um, a kind of precursor in a way to the star. Because in the star card, we have um, the mortal female uh, with the two jugs. Let me see if I can just find it. I'm not putting it for you. I'm just gonna find it to show you the juxtaposition. Okay, here she is. Here we have the mortal female, no wings, and she's got the two jugs and she's pouring and pouring and pouring because she is no longer concerned with conserving that spiritual fluid there, that water of life. She's so fearless because she knows it's completely, utterly and infinitely abundant. Back here, card number 14 temperance oops sorry we have a spiritual entity so this is more of a of an idea as opposed to the mortal entity here we have the spiritual entity with the same two vessels there and the same liquid but it's in-house it's a closed circuit and it's being poured very steadily very carefully without spilling a drop from one vessel to the other as we weigh up our spiritual, emotional options on something. Okay, and as I say, by the time we get to the star card, it's like, oh, no. it's like, just let it go, let it go, right? And here, that closed circuit and that very careful containing of everything is in the reverse. So there's movement here. There's a really interesting juxtaposition of stasis in the devil and the empress in the uh, in the reverse here. 
and movement with the full and temperance in the reverse and release and letting something go. Um, so I'm going to get one for you, more for you uh, before I finish because I'd be very interested to know what the pivot point is. And I don't see at this stage that the pivot point of this is um, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, that's more about, I would say, the Wheel of Fortune is more tied, or the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, yes, is tied to, uh, literally, to the Devil card there. And the sense of being held down by bad luck, maybe or just sort of cautionary you know some sort of bad thing happened and, and you just kind of think that you're just kind of bedeviled literally by bad fortune yeah the thing is as i say with the with the fall in the upright here there is only movement there is only change and um by kind of focusing on this empress in the reverse you know it's winter the seeds aren't sprouting the plants aren't growing um there's no expansion um the the inevitable change here in the in the fall might end up being experienced as a kind of spillage okay all right that's the last card for the reading strength in the reverse Right, now the strength card is about the uh, the tempering, like temperance, the tempering of um, desire and the, the kind of self-management of how we experience and express and go about fulfilling our desires. Uh, the desires are uh, embodied here in the lion and there's this sense that, that there's this sort of wildness, this kind of jungle spirit of just wanting what you want and wanting it now and wanting it how you want it. And uh, this kind of, yeah, this wild, untempered, untrammeled, immature kind of uncivilized <laughs> um, desire is being kind of controlled basically by the, this more adult figure here and the lady who is nonetheless i love this so much barefoot wearing a crown how wonderful the barefoot queen um but here this is for you in the reverse so it looks to me like there's some space and some latitude to let go of of um worrying about the consequences of uh going after what you want because that movement forward is going to happen anyway that expansion is going to happen anyway that change is going to happen anyway that evolution in the fall here is going to happen anyway and it is so interesting that the only two cards i suddenly see that are in the upright is the devil and the fool okay so we've got the prison here the self-made self stayed in prison here and the open road here um and in between we have all this stuff about stuff being held in growth being held back uh you know desires and and wishes being kind of clamped down on here and this kind of sense of of being bedeviled by um by poor fortune bad fortune here let go man let go because basically what you're dealing with is your own perception of your own limitations and as such as i say they exist inside your own mind they can be away in one breath if you wish right I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful January and I'll see you again soon for another reading. Namaste.